Bob Grenier, volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project, and we are looking at sample 19 in the MFMP's Hutchison sample collection. So, as usual, we have our range of different colored spheres in their range of different cavities. And uh, we'll have a look around the sample. It is a piece of steel uh, that was deformed and it featured in the Mining Diamonds with Lion video uh, when I was describing how the toroidal vortices, solitons, uh, when they get very large, are able to twist and distort even macro samples of metal, like this one. So I've got the sample attached to a piece of white paper which enables me to move it around and uh, then I can zoom in and zoom out on the various features. A little nice spiral there. And I'm just applying a little bit of pressure to the tripod here uh, to enable me to move to different areas. It's not ideal. I'm looking maybe to get just a base for a microscope to put samples in and I can more precisely move them around. You can see on the side of the screen there where it's blurred. So we've got to the end of the sample here. deep cavity there. I'm applying pressure down on this cheap phone holder to move the focal plane into the cavity and out of the cavity. And as you can see along the edge of this cavity, we have some periodic spheres, little ones.
Yes, definitely needs a new lens. It's a very nasty, blurry area. That we're now going to have to live with until I can get a new lens. Diamonds and most things don't go together very well. glassy like surface here which one would think would be a bit weird on a piece of steel but we've seen lots of glassy things in our journey <coughs> in our journey in the last few weeks so this is not surprising to those that have been following this Sphere, not a black coloured hole. Just adjusting the brightness there. Better method, I can pull the office desk up and down 
gives me a little bit more control over the focal plane. There we go. Lovely. So that was a quick look at sample 19. So. Thank you for your time.